In this training video, we're going to teach you some shading techniques. We're going to go to the shading brush and essentially start brushing over the petals in this rose. We can brush indiscriminately because the shading brush is targeting a tonal range which has been calibrated to bring out natural shadows and shading in images. As you can see, we brush across the image and it's only bringing out the darkest of darks. It's adding a nice, soft, smooth blend and it's a very natural, lustrous type of uh, shading result. I can increase the tonal range and it's going to expand to further uh, darken the darker areas. Now let's go ahead and bring in an additional effect. I'm going to apply Deepen Shadows now that I have the shading brush uh, applied. You can see the layer palette shading brush is at the bottom, Deepen Shadows is at the top. Now look at the result on screen. This is very dramatic, it adds drama, depth, and has a very nice feel to it. I want to increase the softness over here on Deepen Shadows to give it an even uh, more lustrous, smooth, silky kind of look. Now let's go over and apply a shader. The shader is going to stream in using our T-Path control and in essence it's giving it a very nice even uh, shaded darkened look wherever the path is cast across. It's a directional type of result. You can have as many shaders as you would like on your scene. In this case I'll bring one across from the bottom left and you can see how this basically looks. And let's look at the original and after some of these shading techniques have been used. As you can see it's very quick and it's easy to experiment around. Over on the layer palette I can also turn on and off different uh, effects to see how it's going to look with just shaders and shading brush interacting or I can turn off deepen shadows etc. So that's basically some of the techniques you can utilize with mystical lighting and ambience.